Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we're gonna do a little unboxing. I am so excited that this just came in the mail today. I've seen uh, some unboxing videos of this, but just forgive me because this is my very first time to, op to order from this um, pen company and I am so excited because I have, you know, ordered um, a really nice pretty inks. I'm hoping that they're really good. So, I've been wanting to get Troublemaker inks for a while, but for whatever reason, it's always out of stock. And I've been searching online as to, you know, what I could get um, in, in, as an alternative. And I did search for this company, and I am happy to say that I got this locally. So, I wanted to support local business, and I've seen some um, video unboxing, unboxing, and, you know, it seems like it's gonna be a great experience so I, I just want to try it out for myself so it's good that they have this sticker on and this is how the box looks like it says for best experience open box from this side Birmingham pen company and this is based here you know in the state of Pennsylvania so I'm happy that I can support local business so without further ado let's get to it open from this side I'm so excited we'll see Do. I really want to keep the speaker in. Let's see. Oh, wait. Let us see. Oh, okay. Alrighty, I just have to adjust my camera. Alright, let's see what is this. So, first impression, they pack their goodies really good. So, it says Birmingham. Pen Company Fine Writing Instrument from Pittsburgh. Oh, they have that little clip, which is cute. I like that. Let's see. What else? Oh, their thank you letter. That's really nice. Mm. And what else? Oh, they have their packing uh, slip. That's just nice. Okay. So really nice. And then I have this. What is this? Oh, just a thank you card. Thank you for your business. Mm, really nice and cool. And let's see what else they have here. Um, they have this little postcard. You know, I really like the logo of this. The Iron Iron City. You know, Pittsburgh Pittsburgh Steelers. Alrighty. I really like that they pack their their ink really well. Look at this. Like how nicely this is packed together. Make sure that this does not leak or anything like that very pretty look at that that iron city the birmingham pen company fit so i ordered five inks and i'm hoping that they are really good because i am excited oh, i'm so excited you guys so we are gonna do unboxing and also you know ink swatching today so i like the way this is packed it's really good i mean i've ordered from Goulet pens and Vanessa pens and endless pens and other pen companies but so far this is the most pleasant unboxing experience i've had so what is this and they have another you know just thank you like thank you note and they said that your complete outright and unrelenting satisfaction is guaranteed look at that look at all the thought that they put into putting this together so impressed thank you birmingham but like i said this video is not sponsored so but i am happy to support local business so let us just get to it okay so the first one that i have is let me see what this is and i really like the packaging you know and i like that the ink bottle is glass and it says 30 ml manufactured and bottled by hand so this is crisp formula fountain pen ink made in the usa and this is california raisin so i ordered three because i like the swatches on their website and i'm hoping that this is going to be like a like a dual shading multicolored ink because i love those kinds of inks i could not open this up let me see this one here i have another one so this is chrysanthemum Crescent and then let's see what the other ones are all right, I really like the packaging, but one thing that I wish they do on their bottles and also on their 
you know, this one here on their box. It would be nice if they have like an ink swatch, you know, of this uh, ink outside so you'd know exactly what kind of ink or what shade it is. But we shall see. Alrighty, so I have five um, inks that I ordered from them. I have Antique Sepia. I have Pennsylvania Fieldstone. I have Eroded Bronze. Chrysanthemum. And California Raisin. And we shall see how this looks like in a moment. Alrighty, so which one am I going to swatch first? I am thinking... I am going to do that in order, all right? So again, I am using my Maruman um, Sep Color um, Notebook. And we are going to do a swatch of this. So the first one that I'm going to swatch is what they call Antique Sepia. And it looks like this is, should I shake this up? This looks like a, like a green ink, but we shall see how it looks like. Alrighty, so let me zoom in so you guys can see clearly. This is the very first one. And this looks like a green, kind of like mossy olive type, you know, of um, green. We shall see how this looks like. I did really like the swatch on their website, so I'm hoping that this is going to be a dual shading ink. So I am really very excited. Alrighty, so we are also going to do some writing sample and we shall see how this looks like when it's dry. I don't know what that is, but we shall see. I'm going to do my dip pen in here. And so this one is from Birmingham Pen Company and the name of the ink is... Mm -hmm, Antique... Sepia. And this is, the formula of the ink is crisp. Okay. This formula. Alrighty. And let us do, um, you know, some alphabet here. Mm, Alrighty, so that is how the ink looks like and I don't know about you guys but I already see some remarkable transformation as the ink dries. Maybe my camera cannot quite capture the beauty of this ink. So when you first put this on paper, it does look like a bright green but later on when it dries, it transforms into... My camera cannot quite capture but it does turn into like a brownish kind of color okay like like a green brown color right which is really pretty so this is how the swatch um looks like as you can see um there are some incredible amount of shading in there and i like the fact that yeah this is definitely dual shading so i'm happy that i can support local business and i get you know alternative inks because i uh first intended to get you know troublemaker inks but for whatever reason they're not available so i still wanted to get my hands on it though all right so the next one we're gonna do is the pennsylvania fieldstone and i have high hopes for this because it has the name of the state oh this looks like a pretty color hmm. kind of like it looks kind of pinkish color i don't know what my camera can quite you know capture the real color but it does look pinkish on the swatch, but we shall see, you know, what happens to it when it's dry and maybe it will transform to a different color, but we shall see. And as usual, I am going to also dip it, the dip my pen in, and then do a writing sample, okay? Alrighty, so just like the other one, this is also crisp formula. So, um... 
let me write the name. This is Pennsylvania. All right, and this is called Fieldstown. All right, Pennsylvania Fieldstown. And likewise, this is Chris Formula. Um, really pretty as well, so take a look at the swatch the swatch is also starting to change colors so i am really um wondering whether this would look differently on a different paper but you know seeing how nice these inks are i am very happy that i um got my hands on it to try so i'm sorry if you hear something in the background that's just my dog and he likes to run around the house. So please excuse Odin. Okay. Alrighty, so that is how uh, Pennsylvania Fieldstone looks like. So let's do a close up and take a look. Let's see what it looks like. Alright, so there is the antique sepia. Okay, and it looks greenish brown. And then you have this Pennsylvania Fieldstone, which kind of looks like a like a muddy, I don't know, kind of like a muted pink brown color. Um, it's pretty. Okay, so those are the first two. So let's flip the page and see how what the other ones are. Oops, oh, it's not quite dry yet, so let's, um, let's do that. Alrighty, so the next one I have here is called Eroded Bronze. Okay, and I'm going to do a swatch of this. So I'm hoping that this is going to be like similar to like a Sailor 162 or uh, maybe the Vinta Lucia. I don't know. So we'll see. Ooh, I like that color. Look at how nice this is. So it's a blue ink and um i know that in their in the swatch in their website i really see some you know interesting shading in there so i am hoping that this is also a dual shading ink all right so again let's write the name in here this is eroded bronze and it is also Crisp formula. All of them are crisp formula. Okay. transformation on there so we shall see later on how this looks like when it is completely dry but I kind of like it because it does look like um you know like like a black ink like a bluish black ink kind of like a muted blue color this is how this is how the swatch um looks like so we shall see later on what if this is going to change or not it will be interesting to see also um how it looks like on different paper but I haven't got my Toma River notebook yet, but um, it's going to come soon, so I'm excited. Alrighty, so that is Eroded Bronze. Let me clean up my pen and make sure it's clean for the next one. Alright, okay. The next one is called Chrysanthemum. Okay, so and in the other swatches, this looks like a, like a pink ink. So we shall see. Alrighty. I'm excited about this because, you know, in the other swatches that I see on YouTube, it does look like, you know, Sailor 152, but we'll see. Well, you know what? I like this ink already. I'm in love with it already. Just look at this pretty color. Look at that. This is really pretty. I love it. So, it does look um, pink, like a muted pink color. So, and, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love this. I think this is now going to be one of my favorites just because I like pink inks. 
And again, let's write the name. Chrysanthemum. Alrighty, so that's how it spells. And then this is going to be the same formula. Chris formula. And the same. I'm going to do my alphabet. Already, I am loving it, you guys. This is really pretty. I'm so happy that I got it. I, and the price is also good, you know. So I, it's good to, to find that I have alternatives. So very fun, really nice. All right, so we shall look at the last one that I got. So this is called California Raisin. And um, in the swatch, this looks like a like a purple, like lavender color. So we shall see how this looks like. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Let's see. Can't have enough of this, you know, lavender purple color. Oh, this is really nice. Look at that. Hmm. Really pretty. do the writing as well this is california raisin and same formula i'm gonna do my alphabet love this lavender color it's 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 nice okay, it's it's a little uh, muted and I, I like muted colors i don't know why but for whatever reason i prefer that kind of like pastel co muted color and it's really pretty Alrighty, so these are the five inks that i got from the Bir birmingham pen company so the swatches are not quite dry yet. I don't know whether that ink would still change, but so far I am happy with it. So again, let me zoom out so you guys can see clearly what's happening to the swatches. They look really pretty and I could see definitely like nice shading on there. It would be nice to, f to try this, you know, in broader nibs and also in flex pens. So very interested to see that for myself. Again, this is antique sepia. So this is like a brownish ink, dual shading. I see the, the green in there and also like the brownish pink color. Very nice. This is Pennsylvania Fieldstone. So it started as kind of like a, like a almost similar to the chrysanthemum, but the chrysanthemum is basically pinker, you know, than this one. This one leans more on the brownish side, but it's, there's definitely, you know, pink tones to it. All right. And then you have the eroded bronze. So the eroded bronze is showing some interesting shading there as well. I do see a little bit of like pink color there. My camera cannot really capture the beauty of this, but it's definitely on there. It looks like a muted kind of like navy um, blue color with like a pink undertone to it. It's really cool. And then I have the chrysanthemum here, which is very similar to Sailor. Um, 252 again really nice ink and definitely there's a nice amount of shading there as well and the last one is the california raisin which is a purple color and kind of like um pastely muted color which is really nice and definitely showing some shading in there too all right so that is my experience of unboxing and also you know swatching this new ink that i will definitely enjoy so if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you have not already. And um, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, anything you want me to review, any ink, you know, or pen that you want me to review, just let me know. And we'll see what we can do. 
So thank you very much for watching. Have a good night. Bye.